I love a good fresh fish. Just recent trips to Chiang Mai and Japan, I'm so inspired to start cooking more fish. Plus, we've got summer here. There's absolutely nothing better than a really, really nice grilled fish. So I've got here some perch. And I saw a, um, a particular fish that was butterflied in Japan. It looked amazing. So I'm going to give it a go. And essentially what I'm going to do after that is grill the fish uh, and have it in a little uh, grill. Baste it with some um, really yummy sambal. Now the sambal paste is pretty much what we use for the laksa. The versatility of this paste is unbelievable. All right, so let's give this a go and see how we go. Look at how beautiful this fish is. All right. So with butterflying fish, uh, I've basically gone to the, the fish markets, got the guy to clean out the guts and the um, innards and everything. We're going to start from the spine. Get a really sharp knife and sort of start working your way. Mark the area that you're actually going to cut through, right? And then go all the way through. So really what we want to do is skim one side of the bone. But don't cut through to the belly. Um, you want to get it cl as close as possible to the skin, but not, but not cutting all the way through. Right, so now that I've got half of it done, I'm going to do the head now. This is going to be interesting. So cut it down. Don't hate me, fish. Gee, the guy in Japan made it look so easy. Yay! Wonderful. Look at this. That's a butterfly fish push it flat and that's how we're going to grill it. So I've um, sprayed this down with a little bit of um, um, canola spray, put the fish straight on the rack. But before I do that, all the flavour needs to be in here. So I'm going to get some of this paste. Oh, it smells so good. I know it's going to taste really good. Now what I've got here is coconut milk but in a powdered form. Brown sugar, just for a little bit of sweetness, a bit of salt. I'm just using the smoked salt as well. Just make sure it's well mixed. Then we're going to add a little bit of oil in here as well. I'm just using a light olive oil. You can use any oil you want. Okay, let's stir this around. Okay, let's give it a bit of a taste. Fantastic. One last thing. Got a bit of lime here. Okay, so here we go. Baste it on. So all of this, when it catches a bit of the heat, it's just going to crispen up. It's going to be great. So get it everywhere, all over the fish. Maybe a little bit in the eye socket. I have a bet going with a, a friend that I'm going to eat these big goggly eyes. We'll see how we go. Right. Well, let's put that down here. I'm just going to put the last bit of this over the top. All right, here we go. Clamp on. And this is how it's going to happen. Now, before I do that, I actually want to serve this on some banana leaf. To make it pliable, just run, your, run it over some heat and you'll slowly see the color change as the oils come through. Have a look at that. Here we go. Skin side down first. So while we're doing that, I am going to start on pickles. Pickles are really good to have in a, with a dish like this because you've got a lot of spices going there. And what pickles do is they almost kind of cut through the richness, refreshes your mouth a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to do a really simple one. I've just got a Lebanese cucumber here and a couple of chilies. I'm just going to halve this. Turn this upside down. Just slice it sort of in angles. So you've got the kind of pieces like you know a little bit a little bit fat at the bottom, a little bit thin on top, same thing. Just looks nice. Chilies. So I'm actually gonna take the seeds out. So halve it again. Simplest way to get chili seeds out. Scrape the seeds off. Alright, so again, big slices. Pop them in here. Alright, so what I've got here is a sugar pickling syrup, including vinegar, star anise, and cloves. 
With these, I usually go half cup sugar to one cup water in that ratio. So I'm just going to pour this over the top. You can see it's kind of quite syrupy still. Great. All you need to do then is just let it sit there. Because it's cucumber, it'll start sort of wilting down a little bit and it'll absorb the flavour of that pickling liquid. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt to this. And this is just going to sit there. When the fish is ready, we can eat this. Let's check on the fish. Wow, look at that. Oh, that looks great. Nice little charred bits. Oh, this looks so good. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. I know it's going to taste really good too. So let's try this. Oh, the flesh just flakes off. My mouth is watering, literally. Oh.